hello so welcome so in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate some more surface um, types okay um, some of what I'm going to teach you include drawing um, tents um, generation of watersheds um, generation of slopes and slope directions and many more okay so I'm going to show you how you can basically um, go about generating these surfaces okay so by the end of this video you, you should be able to generate any surface you want to generate All right so let's go in now in the previous videos I was describing how you can generate a contour and we are going to follow that same procedure except I'm going to show you something extra okay so first let's go to our surface let's add a new surface here and then we will uh, so I'm going to add a new surface here. I'm going to call it um, I think I call it I'll say project surfaces yeah so I would I would I would create a new surface here then I'll define it down here so this project surfaces I've just created I'm going to define it by giving it points okay so when I right click and I add points over here I will have the opportunity to give it more points now if you are getting lost on what was happening here I've recorded videos on how you can import data onto your AutoCAD um, workspace okay environment so yeah you can just go and refresh your mind on it okay so I'm selecting the right format and I'm importing it now when I import it it will automatically generate a surface for me okay this is a contour surface all right so this was where we got to when I taught you how you can label them if you do not know how to do that you can watch my previous video on drawing contours Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can generate other surfaces surfaces apart from contours, right? The procedure is quite simple. All you have to do is um, you just have to come and right click on this your surface you've created. Then you go to edit surface um, um, styles. Now in this place you would have that's at the display. Okay, so maybe yours would start from here, but at the display you would have all the types of surfaces you you would want okay so right now it's giving the major contour and the minor contour so i'm going to disable them all right and then you see it it will be empty leaving the border only now if you want to have let's say let's start with um let's start with the watershed okay if you want to have a watershed you enable the watershed layer and then you apply and there you go you have a watershed over here all right I hope you get it let's let me let me just show you how you can do for the others now um as you can see there are more layers i'm going to disable this guy this watershed guy and um if you want to have um let's work with slopes if you want to have slopes and also give it slope arrow so that to tell you the direction of the slopes you can have it you can have it okay so now when you enable it you would actually see the slopes and the directions these slopes are moving let's just enable the grids okay so that uh, we would have a grid here make it graded okay all right so you would have the slopes and then the directions of these slopes all right so now when I select on this one and I select on water on drop when I show sorry uh, sorry okay so yeah so when I select on the water drop and I put it at a point it will tell me where this water droplet would, would actually travel to the direction of this water droplet it's 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 quite interesting now when I click on on this on a point here to tell me that if this is the origin this is the direction of the flow of, of the water okay so it's quite interesting you you can try it later on your own I'm just going to show you some few more um, going back to edit surface styles uh, I'm going to disable oh, I'll leave the grid okay but I'll disable the slopes and uh, yeah so over here you realize that you can um, add even 10 files okay so you can add 10 files and you have everything here I hope this makes um, enough meaning for you now because of the grids it's going to look a little confusing but you can disable the grids if you want to okay so yeah you can edit the 10 files you can edit um, if you come to edit you can edit you can actually edit them you can move them swap them um, do anything you want to do to these 10 um, edges okay so yeah that's how you can go about it 
so i'm going to disable the thing and i'm going to only display um points okay so yeah you you'd be able to have any of these things these are the spot heights okay so that's basically how you can go about drawing your surfaces if this video if you like this video i want you to leave a thumbs up to my video and um, if you are new to my channel i want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel um, so that you you stay updated on any new videos you'll be prompted whenever i, I upload any new videos all right have a good day bye